Now, when Canadians grow up, they play hockey, drink maple syrup, and nearly die bogging down hills using GT snow racers that have the illusion of steerability and braking. You're here to steal your girl. So we thought, why don't we make them even more dangerous with literal jet engines? Wait, has anyone ever done this before? Oh yeah, turns out people have done this before. There's this guy. He says he got a world record, but I don't know, that didn't seem very fast. Wait, didn't Lewis Weiss do something like this? Huh, yeah, he did. 40 miles per hour, not bad. I guess we have a speed to beat. Conditions are amazing. The ice is plowed, prepped. We've got like a good solid mile of runoff. I'm thinking this will be the fastest anyone's ever gone on a jet-powered GT. It's so it's so cold that the oil is like almost gel. It'll be really good for the jets though. It's kind of a bit of a special place too. Um, it's a track that's completely maintained uh, by local snowmobilers uh, that use it specifically for snowmobile drag racing. Why can't I put that on mine over there? <laughs> well, we've got the we've got the original one here. Yeah. And then uh, that's kind of the evolution where it turned into this. Really? It's been a bit of a passion project at the shop over the past couple of years. Really? Yeah, and uh, this is the first time we're gonna have it wide open and see what happens. Oh, really? We're hoping that we can get a get a kid's toy running yeah. over 100 kilometers an hour. Holy! Uh, Really? Yep, yeah, didn't even run the drag parachute. Really? Yep. Holy f <laughs> You can run that uh, summer and winter. I first seen that man, I said, holy f You gotta buy that invention somewhere? <laughs> I know you see a lot of it on YouTube, but that thing around here. Well, that's where you're gonna see it. Yeah. For, uh, for our YouTube channel. Oh, just are you? YouTube work. channel? Yep, yeah, that's what we do. Watch that every goddamn day. Now this is the first time on ice, so we don't know how it's gonna handle. We don't know how it's gonna perform. So this is just a shakedown run to see what the track feels like, what the GT handles like. Okay, boost pack in, loop key in. Are we rolling on everything? Snap the throttle, fire it up. You think that was full throttle? No, no, not not even close. It's it's got way more in the tank. It leaves slow, but it picks up, and it yeah, just yeah, keeps I, pushing. Yeah. Nice driving. I think I did like 65, 70, but it's still pretty squirrely. And that's the thing, eh? Is that I'm sure it's gonna get be squirrely up to a certain. The faster you go, the more smooth it's gonna be. It's gonna be like a sled. Oh uh, yeah. Go fast, don't die. Okay. Clear start. Yeah. Because 100 is really fast. This thing's a kid's toy, you know, with jet engines on it.
There is no way. No way. Dude. 106.8. 106.8! Yes! And she had way more in her. Oh, <laughs> man. I was like, taking it easy, then I looked down, like, 90. I'm like, all right, let's break 100. you got to be kidding me. 106.8. Unbelievable. We broke that record just right then and there. We could have wrapped up. We could have gone home. But we have to answer the question, what is this thing capable of? In our last run, James outran our Chase Snow Machine. So we're gonna borrow my friend's drag sled, which goes way faster to see if we can keep up. We're gonna hold this thing wide open. We're gonna finally see what this thing can do. He's amped, I'm amped, the cameras are rolling, we're ready to rock and roll. miles. This kind of thing was a, a very Canadian thing for me. It was a very big part of my youth. Uh, big sense of pride in seeing it break that record and just and go so far beyond. Uh, everyone up there was, was super super nice and welcoming. It was a it was a great experience. Support our projects and grab your own Hacksmith merch at Hacksmith.store. Every order helps us keep making awesome builds like these.